As the last stages of the domestic abuse bill approaches, charities in the UK have become increasingly concerned of the government's lack of equality in the consultation process, showing a gender bias towards the needs of women. The committee who are responsible for the formulation of the bill have actively encouraged women's groups and individual survivors to feed into the process. It is absolutely vital um, that the bill brings forward the, the legal protections and support that survivors need and it's backed with the sustainable funding um, that life-saving specialist domestic abuse services require across the country and I think the Domestic Abuse Commissioner in mapping that provision in monitoring um, the services that are there can make a real difference. Um, in, in access to support for survivors. Over many days of the consultation process, women's groups and survivors from across the UK informed the committee on their services, where they believed women needed more support and how services should be funded in the future. Um, for the Air Violence Against Women Coalition, it's really important that this bill sets up a crucial principle of equal access to protection and support for all survivors of domestic abuse. We can't have a situation where we've got law which leaves certain victims behind and, and in particular we will highlight that migrant victims of domestic abuse are left behind currently. Mark Brooks, OBE, an equalities campaigner and chair of the Mankind Initiative, which supports male survivors of domestic abuse, has continued to challenge the lack of inclusion for men, saying that the 786,000 men who have reported domestic abuse in this year alone will continue to be ignored unless the government give them the same equal inclusion into the formulation of the domestic abuse bill. And what we're concerned is the way that the domestic abuse a bill will be applied through the guidance will continue the marginalization of both male and LGBT plus victims um, because we're concerned about those as well. In the House of Commons um, the, the bill went through a public bill committee stage which is broadly where a group of MPs, a smaller group of MPs, go through the domestic abuse bill line by line and they debate that in detail. And they held an evidence session, uh, which is really good. Um, and they invited quite a number of organisations and people. But they also invited uh, seven charities that were focused on a particular gender. And the issue was, is that they actually only invited seven charities that focused on female victims to give evidence. Um, and also they spoke to a number of survivors but also there were only female survivors. So what was quite clear was that the way that the committee uh, dealt with male victims, who do, of course, make up one in three of all domestic abuse victims in the UK, in effect, that those victims were silenced. But the fact that male victims and male victims organisations were not allowed to give evidence um, really showed how marginalised they've become in this process. And it wasn't as though any of us hadn't asked. So I, um, on behalf of the charity, had asked the committee many weeks before or offered the opportunity that we would be more than happy to come and give evidence in person. We also know a number of male victims uh, who are now survivors also wrote to the committee saying that they uh, wanted to give evidence or could do. So it wasn't as though the committee didn't know who to contact or who was interested from a male perspective. They, they simply chose not to call any of us. According to the Office of National Statistics, men and women experience all known forms of domestic abuse. Physical, mental, emotional and financial, both genders are also disabled and killed. Where there are children, male or female, all are known to experience life-changing trauma by living with the abuse. While educated and nationally recognised influencers are contributing to the consultation, at no time have men had equality in this process. This is Sally Burris for Split the Difference.